Betty Andreassen Luca was born in 1937 in Leominster, Massachusetts. She lived a quiet life as a devoted mother and housewife. Betty married James Andreassen and had seven children. The family settled in South Ashburnham, Massachusetts. Betty balanced her time between caring for her family and working part-time jobs. Her life was filled with the usual joys and challenges of raising a large family. She had no particular interest in UFOs or alien life. On a cold winter night in 1967 an event occurred that would change her life forever. It would thrust her into the spotlight of the UFO community. Her story would become one of the most well-known and thoroughly investigated alien abduction cases in history. Betty's experience would challenge her beliefs and reshape her understanding of the universe. On the evening of January 25, 1967, Betty Andreassen was in her kitchen. She was cleaning up after dinner while her seven children watched television. Her parents were also present in the house. At around 6, 30 p.m., the house suddenly went dark. The lights flickered and then went out completely. Betty's initial thought was that it was a power outage. However, she quickly realized something was amiss when she saw a strange pulsing light coming through the kitchen window. As Betty and her family watched in awe and fear, several small humanoid creatures appeared to pass through the wooden door of their home. These beings were about four feet tall with large pear-shaped heads, wide-set eyes, and small slit-like mouths. One of the beings approached Betty and communicated with her telepathically. It told her not to be afraid and that she had been chosen for a special purpose. As she left her home, she saw a large disc-shaped craft hovering nearby. Betty's abduction experience was a journey that defied conventional understanding. She was taken aboard the alien craft, which she described as metallic and smooth. Inside the environment was sterile and clinical, with curved walls and strange symbols. The beings communicated with her telepathically throughout her time on the ship. During her time on the craft, Betty underwent several procedures. She described being examined on a table with instruments she couldn't comprehend. The beings seemed particularly interested in her eyes, using a device to look deep into them. Betty also reported being shown strange visions and symbols. Despite the strangeness of it all, Betty maintained that she felt no pain during these procedures. One of the most vivid parts of Betty's experience was what she called the bottle. She described being placed in a clear, fluid-filled container and feeling as if she was traveling through space at incredible speeds. This part of her experience was particularly difficult for her to reconcile with her religious beliefs. The investigation into Betty's abduction experience began in 1975, eight years after the incident. It was initiated by Dr. J. Allen Hynek's Center for UFO Studies. The case was assigned to a team led by Jules Valencourt, a veteran UFO researcher. The investigation, known as the Andreasen Affair, became one of the most comprehensive studies of an alien abduction claim. The team spent over 12 months conducting intensive interviews with Betty and her family, they used hypnosis to help Betty recall details of her experience. These sessions were conducted by Dr. Harold Edelstein, a psychiatrist experienced in hypnotherapy. The sessions revealed a wealth of information about Betty's abduction experience. One striking aspect was the consistency of Betty's story. Under hypnosis, she recounted the same events multiple times without significant variation. Betty's life after the 1967 incident was marked by ongoing strange experiences. She reported multiple subsequent encounters with the beings over the years. These encounters often involved visions and telepathic communications. Betty felt that she had been chosen for a special purpose, though she struggled to understand exactly what that purpose was. In the years following her abduction, Betty became a prominent figure in the UFO community. She wrote several books about her experiences, including The Andreassen Affair and The Andreassen Legacy. Betty's story attracted both believers and skeptics. Betty's marriage to James Andreassen ended in divorce in the years following her abduction. However, she found love again with Bob Luca, who had his own UFO encounter experiences. Together, they became advocates for UFO research and disclosure. Betty Andreassen Luca's abduction story had a significant impact on ufology setting new standards for investigating alien abduction claims. The thoroughness of the Andreasen affair became a model for future researchers. Betty's story highlighted the potential value of hypnosis in recovering abduction memories, though controversial. The religious aspects of her experience opened new discussions in the UFO community. 
Her integration of Christian faith with alien encounters challenged the notion that UFO experiences conflict with religious beliefs. Betty's case contributed to the alien abduction narrative in popular culture. Whether believed or not, Betty Andreas and Luca's account left an indelible mark on UFO studies. Betty Andreas and Luca passed away on March 18, 2022, but she will not be forgotten. Her story continues to inspire and intrigue those who hear it. Thanks for tuning in, Weirdsville dwellers. Brace yourselves for more bizarre tales every Wednesday at 3 p.m. EST. If you haven't joined our community yet, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with the weirdest happenings in Weirdsville. Until our next rendezvous, never stop questioning the unknown, and keep that curiosity of yours burning bright. Farewell for now.